Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So right now I am in Miami. It is so beautiful here. If you live here, I am insanely jealous. The weather is perfect. The people are awesome. The food is good. It's a little expensive, but I guess that's what you get with any major city. But I'm down here on vacation with my fiance. <laughs> that happened. We've been together since high school. We're high school sweethearts. It's been 10 years and you proposed to me at the Miami Botanical Gardens and it was so beautiful. So we have been here since Sunday. It's Thursday now. Yesterday it was really, really rainy and so I decided to find the nearest thrift store which also happened to be really close to Little Havana which was beautiful too. Really good ice cream. If you guys are from around here, if you're visiting, uh, Azucar ice cream, I believe that's what it was called. Really good ice cream. So we stopped there and we had lunch, but I got a few things to resell and one thing to maybe keep, I don't know. I'm actually headed to Bolivia after this, so I can't take all this back with me. Jason's gonna take some of it with me. So I decided I would keep something to wear for myself because it's too big to pack. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I did some thrift with me clips and I wanted to show you guys what the thrift store looked like there too. It was a little bit different than what I'm used to. So I'll show you guys the clips, that way it makes more sense. And then I'll explain how this thrift store worked. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. I do this on top of my eight to five job. This kind of started out as a fun hobby for me and now I've turned it into a profitable side hustle. I have a lot of fun with it. So if you guys don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you guys go thrifting on vacation or is that just me? I love thrifting on vacation. I think it's so much fun. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. It really helps my videos out and they do better in the algorithm. The more likes and comments they get, it shows more interaction. So anyway, let's get on with it. So here is the outside of the Goodwill. It is on 8th Street in Miami. It is right next to Little Havana. So if you're visiting, it's a great location to check out. Lots of good food. But I always warm up with shoes. It's less intimidating for me to go through the shoes and look at the tops of the labels instead of like digging through shirts. I didn't really have a whole lot of luck with shoes, but I was grateful that I didn't honestly because I didn't really have a whole lot of room to bring shoes back with me. Shoes tend to take up a lot of space, so that's one downfall of thrifting while you're traveling is you have to keep your suitcases in mind. Unless you drive, of course, then it, it doesn't really matter. But then I went to the sweaters. I was really hoping that since it was March, some people would have donated their winter stuff that they wanted to get rid of, um, especially considering how hot it gets in Miami. But I didn't really have much luck. It was mostly just mall brands, but I did notice that their shirts were a lot more colorful than in Denver. That was kind of cool. And then I looked through the t-shirts, which were kind of a bust. It was a lot of brands like J. Jill, like I said, mall brands. I think that was like an Athleta shirt right there. Uh, a lot of no-name stuff. Monto, which is like a Nordstrom Rack brand. Um, I think you can also find it at like TJ Maxx. I loved the way that this Goodwill organized their jeans. I wish every Goodwill did this because it's so easy just to walk through and see all the brands like hung that way. It was really nice. Um, mine you have to fold the top over because they're hung like normal, you know, across the top instead of just on one side. So dear Goodwill, please always hang your jeans like this. It's amazing. Jeans were, for the most part, less expensive brands like Old Navy and American Eagle, which I do like grabbing American Eagle jeans that are distressed at the bins. Not the plain jeans, but ones that have a lot of distressing. They don't resell for much, but usually they resell pretty quickly. So American Eagle is a brand I keep my eye out for at the bins, but not Goodwill. Same with like Joe's jeans or Lucky jeans. I don't love to pay up for them, but when I find them on a good deal at the bins, I will get them. I did find a good pair of jeans right after I stopped filming this, which I'm mad I didn't get. And I also found a pair of DL 1961, I believe it's called jeans, that have sold well for me in the past, but because of space, I decided to leave them. Next, I went through tank tops because I figured Hello, it's Miami. There might be some good tank tops here. That's like a staple there, right? I don't know. I don't live there. <laughs> but I went through the tank tops and I didn't really have any luck. 
they were mostly cheaper brands, unfortunately, or like more budget brands that are mall brands. Uh, so then I went through the shirts. I did find some nice blouses that were cute styles, but not notable brands that I thought people would be searching for on Poshmark. A lot of it was like Target, again, J. Jill, Loft was a big one, and just like some no-name stuff. I always find more Reese's too, which is funny because I don't know it. At least I've never talked to anyone who's shopped at Maurice's, but I constantly find it at the thrift stores. And I was obsessed with the Zara shirt. I wish it was my size because I would have bought it, but I think it was like $8, so I didn't think it was worth it. If I had found it at the bins, I 1000% would have picked it up. But then I went through the dresses because nightlife is pretty big in Miami, so I thought I might find some cute stuff, but I didn't really have that much luck. A lot of it was fast fashion brands like Misguided or Forever 21, which makes sense, you know, for going out clothes, you know, I never wanted to spend that much money on going out clothes back in the day, so makes sense why it's fast fashion. I found this COS dress that was really cute. COS has a pretty good resale value, but it was pretty basic, so I decided to leave it. And this Escada sweater dress thing was really interesting, but I didn't love the style and I wasn't excited about it, so I just left it behind. I think maybe if I was here, I would have at least looked up the comps on it, but I didn't really have much room to bring it back with me, so it was bulky and I left it behind. And then I just continued to look through the sweaters. Some were nice, but um, like this one looked like it was expensive, but it was just too big. So that's the thing that sucks, guys. Like you'll find things that you'll really like, but unless you want to pack another suitcase, it's not worth it. And I did end up picking this one up. It's one of my favorite thrifted pieces in a while. It's young, fabulous, and broke. I'll show it to you guys in the haul. Um, and these pants. Okay, I don't think I saw those Lululemon pants there. If I did, I would have gotten them or they were really old style. So I'm pretty picky with Lululemon these days. It doesn't really sell for me. I'm curious to know if it sells for you. Like, do you guys have good luck selling Lululemon? Because I don't. I feel like it gets really low offers and I have to basically get rid of it for free for anyone to get it, which is crazy because it sells for a whole lot. Just some boring black basic leggings, nothing exciting really. So I left after that. I spent about an hour there in total. So this thrift store was a little bit different than mine. And the reason why was because they didn't have price tags on anything. The way that they did it, which I've seen this done before in the New Mexico Goodwill, is they have these like different colored tags on each item and the tags represent different prices. But there was no explanation of what the prices were, so I didn't grab a whole lot because I didn't want to get to the front and have her be like, oh, this is like $20. I assumed everything would be really expensive because it's Miami, but it actually wasn't that bad. Um, so without further ado, I guess I'll show you guys what I got. Um, now, okay, so this thrift store versus my hometown thrift store. I found a couple of brands I had never found before at my Goodwill, and I'm sorry, the sun is going to come in and out. But there were a couple of brands that I had never found at my Goodwill before, and that was fun. Like I found Escada, which I had never found, and I found Veronica Beard, which was really cool. I never found that at my thrift store. Um, it's usually at the Goodwill, like the fancy Goodwill, where they mark stuff up. Um, and yeah, usually it's like at least $50 or more at my Goodwill. Uh, so the brands were pretty good. It was a little thin, like it was sparse. <laughs> Uh, they didn't have as much stuff, which actually I really don't mind because when things are packed too close together on the racks, it makes it really hard to find stuff. So I didn't, I didn't really mind that. So this is everything I found in about an hour or so to resell. So the first thing I found was this Lululemon bra. Lululemon doesn't sell super well for me, but the bras do, especially these crisscross back ones. And this one has, where is it? The logo is somewhere. There it is. There's the logo. By the way, I'm filming this on my phone because I didn't bring my camera, so bear with me. <laughs> but this one I thought was an interesting pattern. I'm gonna have to research it. I know some Lululemon patterns uh, go for more than others, so I'm gonna look this up. And also the really good thing about this one is it came with pads, which is like super unique. I feel like I never ever find the pads with the tops of the bras, so I I'm guessing whoever had this barely wore it because the pads just kind of like come out when you wash it. So that was exciting. I think I'll probably get that listed for 25, maybe 30, but yeah, their bras flip really quickly for me. 
And then the next thing that I got was the Veronica Beard jeans. Oh, I forgot to mention. So this was $5. Um, and then these were $5 too, which was really exciting. I've never found Veronica Beard before, except for at the Fancy Goodwill, like I said. But these are the Farrah 10.5 inch wide leg jeans, and they are really long and very wide legged. So these are a size 26. Let me see if I can back up. But yeah, they look like that. Super fun. People walking around out here it was like a balcony <laughs> situation anyway so yeah these are super fun i love the back they have like the sunburst thing going on so the comps for these were really good um they were around a hundred dollars the only thing that's not great about these is that they have a little bit of distressing on the bottom of the legs oh here it is so like they've been dragged around i think um which is okay you know i can i think it could still get at least 80 for these which is great because the uber alone was like 20 dollars to get there so as long as i make my uber money back i'm fine really i just want to check out the goodwill situation down there and then the other thing that i found which i think i might at least wear to the next part of my trip and then try to resell is this young fabulous and broke quilted cardigan so let me back up again it's really fun. It's long sleeve. It's like a long duster style and the front is quilted. So I feel like this quilted style is really in right now because of that free people dolman cardigan everyone's obsessed with. It's so amazing. And if I was wearing this hat, I guess I could still show you. It has like a hood. Like how cool is that? I think this is just like perfect for the airplane. Like how amazing is this? It's so cozy and cuddly. Um, the only problem with it though is that there's a stain on the back. I tried to see if she'd give me a discount and she was not about that. It's not a big stain. It's just like a little mark. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that was, that was only $8. So the Goodwill in Miami is very reasonably priced. If you're on vacation here, I highly recommend going, whether it's for fun or if you're just a reseller like me, check it out, okay? You'll find some good things. I actually ended up leaving a lot of stuff behind because like I said, I can't fit it all in my suitcase. I only have a carry-on. There was a beautiful puff sleeve Zara floral blouse that I found that I really wanted, but I ended up leaving her behind. So that is everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always recommend going thrifting on vacation because it's so different by region what people wear. I noticed the style here is very like athleisure wear and I love that. I'm like, can I live here, please? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.